Welcome to our viewers in the United States and the rail in the world. We are continuing our breaking news live coverage after the FBI says it is investigating what appears to be an attempted assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump. We are told the former president is safe after shots were fired in his vicinity while he was golfing at his club in West Palm Beach, Florida. That's just about a 15 minute drive from where his Mar-a-Lago club is in Palm Beach, Florida. Moments ago, we got an account from the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office detailing how all of this unfolded, Wolf, and it is quite stunning. It's stunning and very detailed. In fact, uh, very, very revealing law enforcement officials saying a person has been detained in connection with this incident that occurred at the Trump International Golf Club around 1.30 p.m. Eastern earlier this afternoon. Now, U.S. Secret Service uh, agents fired gunshots at the suspect who they believe was armed and intended to target former President Trump. An AK style uh, long arm rifle with a scope, two backpacks and a GoPro camera were recovered. Yeah! Wow. Welcome back, guys. It seems like another knucklehead try to take out Mr. Donald Trump. What? They tried it again. Man, oh man. And it's funny because this uh, event was not publicized. Nobody knew about it. Secret Service and Donald Trump and a very few people knew he was going to be on this golf course and they still was close enough to get him. He's on the fifth hole, the closest hole to the streets and almost got him again. Jesus Christ, guys. How many lives does this man have? The fact that there was a scope, Chief Ramsey, it says to me, uh, it explains, I think in part, why the FBI has concluded this appears to have been a second assassination attempt against Trump. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, uh, clearly, in my mind anyway, uh, that's the appropriate classification for this particular incident. Uh, we're just fortunate. We're very lucky. Uh, we were lucky in July uh, in Butler, Pennsylvania. And again today, the luck only goes so far. And so everyone has to be incredibly vigilant, uh, enhance security, not just for the former president, but for all of the candidates, because we, we're just in an environment right now where you have a lot of unstable people who apparently are not afraid to um, try to actually harm someone. So uh, we're very fortunate that the uh, Secret Service agent was able to spot this and able to take immediate action and prevent a tragedy from occurring. It's been two months today, two months. This is the 15th. Two months ago on the 13th, they tried to get him. Two months later, they still at it. The guy had a GoPro. He had a, a GoPro. He was trying to film it. He tried to be famous. Man, oh man. I hope to God that this guy's not Haitian. Jesus Christ. The suspect been caught. They went through his stuff. He got a backpack, an AK-47, a GoPro, and man, <laughs> they still coming after this guy, man. I don't know, man. I said this a few months ago that he's going to try it again, you know? I just hope that he be safe, man. Stay away from the open areas until November. But, you know, can't run scared. I get it. But, man, you liberals, man, you need to get a life, people. You liberals need to get a life. It's funny that nobody's going after Kamala or Biden. You feel what I'm saying? No Republicans. Those crazy Republicans are not drawing blood on that side. It's always the liberals. It's always you folks. It's been two months ago, and the rhetoric won't stop. We got MSNBC right here still talking about he's Hitler. Um, your, give me your, your response to what Donald Trump is doing. It is outrageous. It's horrifying. But it's expected from a fascist authoritarian person who wants to create havoc in this country, who wants to take us to Tara, Nazi Germany, Germany. I can't even talk Nazi Germany. We exported, we exported 
racism, fascism to Nazi Germany. We exported it to South Africa, Jonathan. We know how to do it. We're good at it. And let's not pretend that Donald Trump isn't exactly like Mussolini, exactly like Hitler. He is that guy. And I want to pick up where Tyra was for just a second and say something to the American people. Mm -hmm. I live in a neighborhood, Jonathan. Um, you and I both have white partners. I live in a neighborhood, a nice mixed neighborhood with all kinds of people, including Republican people who are nice people, who shovel your grass, who have care about the neighborhood, who care about the world, right? Y'all, you nice people don't want this guy just because your economy worked better for five minutes under his regime. You nice Christian, kind, loving, Jewish people, faithful people, you don't want this guy. We're not these people. We're not these people. And we're not going to get what we want if we elect this fascist, authoritarian weasel. So I just took a look at my news feed to see a picture of this guy. And I think this is him. It's not have been confirmed yet. And whoo, man, I thought it was a Haitian. Golly. I thought a Haitian was mad about that cat and dog joke or reference. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Eat the cat. Eat the cat. Eat the They're cat. eating the cats. They're eating the dogs. Eat the cat. 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 They're eating the dogs. Oh, man. And you know it's Florida too. There's a whole bunch of Haitians down there. Oh, another crazy white guy. Man, oh man. Another libtard. You guys, you Democrats, you need to get your people together, man. This is getting out of control. We need to keep Trump in our prayers, guys, because this is getting ridiculous. They're not going to stop till they get him. They're not going to stop until they get him, man. So, prayers for you, Trump. Fight, fight, fight.